Welcome to our latest video tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering Open Hero Select, which is one of the available programs to edit the hero stat. In the description of this video, you can find a written version of this tutorial, which has all the links that are described here. So, what is the hero stat? Well, it is one of the most important files located usually in the data folder of your game. The hero stat file tells the game which characters are on your roster, as well as various statistics about them. These statistics and information include what files, animations, skins, power style, etc. the character uses, what powers they start with, what effects they have applied to them, and other such important information. It also tells you where the character is positioned on the character select screen, which is called their menu location. Within the HeroStat file, each character has their own specific HeroStat entry. A character's HeroStat entry contains all the information that's specific to them. Because the HeroStat is made up of several different entries that come from each individual character, it can be a bit tricky to edit it. That's why we recommend Open Hero Select to edit the HeroStat. It takes a bit more time to learn compared to other programs, but it cuts down an error significantly and has a robust system for detecting any errors. Generating the hero stat is always the last thing you should do when modding your game, as we've discussed in previous videos. It brings together all the changes that you've made so far, and makes them usable for the game. First of all, you'll need to download Open Hero Select. The link is provided in the written version of the tutorial. Before you start using Open Hero Select, it's important to understand what it does. It's a program that's designed specifically for building the hero stat file from the individual entries that are specific to each character. You add the hero stat entries of each character to the OHS files, and then you list out which of those characters you want on your roster. You can have just one character, or as many as 50, if you have the roster hack. Then, you run OHS, and it takes the individual hero stat entries of the characters that you've listed, and combines them into one single hero stat file, which it then sends to the folder location that you've directed it to. Anytime you make changes to a specific character's hero stat entry, and you want those changes to be properly reflected in your game, you'll need to run OHS again, and follow the procedures for it. Additionally, every time you add a new character, and want them to be on your roster, you'll need to run OHS as well. One other important thing to do before using Open Hero Select, is to turn on file extensions in File Explorer. This is done by clicking View in any File Explorer window, and selecting File Name Extensions. Once you've downloaded and extracted the program, you can take a look at the folders to understand what's going on. The important folders and files in the main folder are openheroselect.exe, which is the program itself, and the MUA folder. The MUA folder has several more folders within it. Each of these folders serves a specific purpose. The menu locations folder contains lists of menu locations that tell the program where characters can be placed in the character selection screen. You won't ever have to edit these files, but it's important to know that they're there. There is one file for every kind of roster size. The rosters folder will initially contain just one file, roster.cfg. This file contains the list of characters that you will be adding to your game. Currently, it has all 55 characters from the official characters pack in it. The XML and JSON folders are folders we can place individual HeroStat entries. The JSON folder is specifically for HeroStat files that use JSON coding. Currently, no mods use that, so you can ignore it and focus on the XML folder. Within the XML folder, you can see the HeroStat entries for all 55 official characters pack characters. To use Open Hero Select, you begin by first placing the HeroStat entries of any new characters into the XML folder. Every mod, and some boosters, will come with their own HeroStat entry. Usually, it can be found in the main folder of the mod, and it will be named HeroStat.text. You'll need to rename the HeroStat entry for it to work properly. You can give it any name you like, but make sure it's descriptive of the character. 
you'll also need to change the file extension from .txt to .xml. So for example, War Machine might be warmachine.xml or Raimi Spider Man might be Raimi Spider Man.xml. If you want to make any changes to an existing character's hero state entry, you can also do that at this time. This includes things like adding or renaming skins, adding or removing menu effects, or changing the size of your character via the scale factor coding. Once you've made the necessary changes in the XML folder, you'll next want to move to the Rosters folder. There, you'll want to edit roster.cfg. This file has a list of characters that'll be on your roster. Here, you can enter the name of that character's XML file to add them to your roster. Make sure to copy the name exactly. If you're not adding or replacing characters, you can skip this step. The order of characters in the CFG file is important, as this is how they will display in the character selection screen from left to right. It's okay to include more characters than your roster allows. Open Hero Select will crop the hero stat to the correct number of characters for you. If you want to have several different rosters that you can switch between, you can create a new CFG file with a different name and a different set of characters. Once you've finished editing the files, you can run the program. It will walk you through the procedure for generating your hero stat. To navigate through the program, use the arrow keys and the enter button. The mouse won't work for you here. First, choose the option to generate a hero stat for Marvel Ultimate Alliance, since this is the game you're modding. The program will next ask if you have one of the roster hacks installed. Choose the option that's right for you. After this, select the roster size that applies to you. The next step is to choose which roster you want to use. The names listed here are the same as the CFG files in the rosters folder. Next, you'll be asked for a file path to the installation of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. If you're modding the PC version, this is simply your game files. If you're modding a console version, this can be any folder where you've placed your hero stat. If you're using Mod Organizer 2 for the PC version, you can set up a specific folder for your hero stat. That is covered in the written portion of the tutorial. At this part of the process, you can manually type your file path. Alternatively, you can click at the top of File Explorer to select the file path of your folder, copy it, then right click after the question and open Hero Select to paste it. Make sure that your destination folder has a folder called Data within it. Open Hero Select will now ask about the name of your game's exe in HeroStat file. Unless you're using a package mod, like the Mortal Kombat roster, you can just press Enter to use the default choices. After this, you'll be asked if you want to run the game upon completion. That's up to you. You can press N for No. Choose No if you're modding the console version or using Mod Organizer 2. The next option asks about saving the intermediate temporary files. You can type N for No here, since these are only useful for debugging purposes. There will be one final question that asks if you want to save the options to a config.ini file. It's recommended to press Y for yes at this option. That will save you from typing in the information every time you run the program. If the file compiled correctly, the program will say done twice. It may take it a little bit to fully compile, so be patient. If the program is unsuccessful, it will give an error, often in the form of an error log. The error log can be found in the main folder of Open Hero Select and will describe what the issue is. For example, if it says a no entry could be found for a certain character, that means that the name in roster.cfg is not the same as the file name in the XML folder. If it says that it can't copy the file, that either means that an invalid file path was given, or it's not able to compile the file. Usually, that's because of syntax errors in a character's entry. Every time you run Open Hero Select successfully, it's important to Start, start a, a new, new game. game! Now that you know how to use Open Hero Select, you can run your game and change your roster however you wish. If you have further questions, first, check out the written version of this tutorial. If you still have questions, feel free to come by our Discord server to ask for help. We'd like to thank every single one of you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, well, why not check out some of our other content too? 
feel free to leave comments down below, but please do try to keep it civil. If you want to experience any mods shown off in our videos, check out and join our community over at www.marvelmods.com or our official Discord server. Links are in the description. See you all next time.